preparing to live stream the meeting. It's now streaming. We are live on YouTube. It's Saturday night. It's eight o'clock. Thank you so much for joining us for this live show. Uh, it is now time for Transformers, the show. It's Saturday night. It's 7 p.m. It's now time for Transformers The Show. Yes, thanks for joining us tonight. It's the motherfucking show. So tonight we've got all the news. Uh, we're going to talk about pickups. Plus, uh, we've got a massive discussion. We're going to have loads of questions. So get involved. Jump into the comments uh, if you've got any questions at all. I've already got some which have been sent through. Thanks, Rudy. Uh, any more questions, throw them into the discussion. Uh, and we will take them as they come. So the big news tonight is Red Alert, uh, Kingdom plus Magic Square. They've got Ultra Magnus, and we're going to go straight into that news now. Uh, before I do that, it is over to the main man, Cup. Take it away, Cup. I jog some TV, and now the news. Don't touch that dial. Right, news. Newsy news. Let's share and in sharing become better people. So uh, we had this little teaser from TF Nation. Um, obviously, we can't have an, a proper TF Nation in person, but they are doing uh, another big broadcast, as they did last year, and they teased this little snippet, 14th to 15th of August, news soon. So hopefully, we'll start to get some information about what's actually going to be on that. So that's quite interesting for those of us who uh, would love to be at TFN and enjoy the big uh, broadcast last year. Next and year, I'm sure next year. I know, I hope so, fingers crossed. And then we had this uh, officially licensed Hasbro product, which, um, I th Alexis, I think you spotted this, didn't you? Yeah, but I can't remember where I'm from, though. It's from a... Fantastic. Uh, brilliant. I was trying, I've been trying to look for this all day. I can't find it. It's the Chinese... If someone could say on chat where this is from, it'd be great. Somebody it's, will um, know. You know they will. So they're, 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 this, is, this is the RC from the from the show. It's uh, what is it Wonder Fest or something that's been going on all week? Is it Wonder Fest it's been called? But um, uh, yeah, it looks good. So um, models, I guess, not transformables, but they are pretty decent models and uh, interesting representations of uh, Prime and RC. There's a Megatron as well, and there's um, there's a couple of others actually as well. I think there's a Megatron and something else as well, which have been blacked out. Um, but this is the first one. So uh, the, the, the agent of Optimus Prime is that. That's uh, that's Leo Convoy. So yeah. uh, Beast Wars two, Beast Wars the second, which was aired in Japan. If you watch Chris McFeely's lessons on Beast Wars, you'll you'll see all about that. I mean, that looks quite good, I suppose. Not, I mean, it's a non-transforming thing, so it wouldn't be something I'd pick up. But for those who collect the kind of statue type figures, I wonder what the cost will be on it. Though they're not usually cheap, are they? Five. No. It looks like it does look like more like like a. Or the 3DX things, I know. DLX things. Uh, yeah. Ultra and then we had this that was um, uh, announced by Transformers, the Transformers uh, Instagram page, I think it appeared on first. So they're partnering with Niantic on Transformers Heavy Metal, which is going to be an augmented reality uh, Transformers game. So this is all we've had so far, I believe, unless somebody's seen something that we haven't. So does that is mean it, people will that... be going around collecting Transformers like Pokemon? Maybe, or maybe battling them. Maybe you've got to, to find them. You, you, so you'll be out in the street call. punching away and people will just be watching you. <laughs> just, you'll be going, just, oh, God, <laughs> you know. Punching random people who walk past. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so either going to be just, really good or really or shit, awful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. it's, gonna it's gonna probably going to be really shit. I have to guess. Um, and then we had some figures that uh, are these available or just pre orders, Jamie? Um, these are pre orders, which oh, have just came out. Yeah, it's pre orders. Yeah. So. We've got Wheeljack, which, as far as I'm aware, is no different to the Wheeljack we've already had. Is that right? Yeah. Apparently, the only difference will be the box. Some oh, people like the great boxes. They so do. Know. They do. Yeah. Um, uh, Dracodon, which I'm sure I saw Prime versus Prime review this, and his review lasted about 30 seconds, and it was basically, <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> the only thing I was disappointed was, with that type of calling, it should be glow in the dark. They should have made it a go in the dark kind of. Plastic. Yeah, that would have been quite good. That would have been awesome. It, it would have at least made it more of a novelty, as it is. Yeah. It's literally just a repainted version of the one we've already had. Was it Vertebrake? Yeah. And you know, it's just, did we need it in that that slightly gaudy colour anyway? And the one that a lot of people seem to be excited about, which was the Core Class Soundwave, which I'm sure Jamie you'll have on order. Although, have you ordered oh, yeah. all of them? Yes, I, I have. I have ordered them all. 
Are you getting the wheel jack then? I'm apart from wheel jack because ah. I'm, I just don't see the point. Especially yeah. if they released in the air fries version, which I guess that kind of wheel jack kind of looks air fries to me. Anyway. I think yeah, that, that, that the wheel jack we've already had is kind of earth rise, isn't it? So it's and then uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is counts as news really, but somebody's <laughs> pointed out that you can recreate that scene from Ace Ventura two um, using wheelie. Now that's the wheelie that comes with uh, Studio Series Grimlock, I believe. This is the real news. This is real. This is what this is what the people want, Paul. This is yeah. this is what we've all been waiting for all week. Serious yeah, news. We've we said this all the time. Program. From the moment this came out, we said it looked like the Ace Ventura Rhino, and, and to this day, mm. it, it is. It's because we, it's a Rhino. We clearly, we clearly are the people with the fingers on the pulse. Obviously, um, then we have uh, Kingdom Red Alert, where we've I think we've I think we have had uh, a sneaky peek. One or two people have leaked the photos of the actual figure, but this is it in packaging. Is it um, changed? Or is it just like a box again? Difference? I think it's just a Kingdom style box. It yeah. Just you know, it's just that that particular style to it. Um, oh, I just I just wanted to say hello, um, Mick. And other people who are now on the chat. Oh, oh yes, yeah. Borders dude, yeah. RJ, yeah. and uh, a Borders dude is with us, and Bumble Lee, and I'm not just reading off the list next to me. Daniel Stevenson, Dazatron. Hi, yeah. Dazatron. Thank you for joining us, guys. Legend of Flight. So, Frony One. in Darkness as well. There's, Being there's, part uh, of the magic as it happens. Yes. Bumble, just Bumble, like last night, we saw against well, England. Lots of people. Bingo, Scotland. Scotland. 256. There Thank was no football guys. last night. Anybody who watched that match knows that. But anyway, this is Transformers Loot no, Crate. Doing. Better. Um, <laughs> this is the one of the weirdest looking Optimus Primes I've seen in some time. Um, that's coming out uh, through, through Loot Crate. And uh, that's it. I'm not sure what exactly they're going for with that aesthetic. Optimus Prime had a girdle. <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> it's they? Like they don't like us. Ooh. He's, Super he's sucking anime. it in. He's breathing in. He's, this is Yoga Prime. This is uh, infiltrated by GoBot fans. Massive hands as well, <laughs> taking a, a cue from uh, Kingdom Rodimus Prime. You've got to admit, there's something just awful about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awful. But I guarantee you, there'll be somebody probably in our chat who who thinks actually I wouldn't mind picking that up. And you know what? Fair play. We're going to block you. <laughs> no. It's not going to be me. <laughs> oh, it's got say three the articulated pivots. Well. It's um. There you go. It, it has, it, it, one thing going about it is it hasn't got a backpack. That that's about it. Wow. So I, hasn't yeah. got much. Uh, of doesn't anything. transform. So <laughs> no, no. And uh, so yes, to answer your question, Mick. Yes, this is the Loot Crate Prime. Um, it is. Yes. It, it, it's um. As it says, wow. yeah. it's, they could yeah. call it Unique Prime or something like that. I think. It's just, it's just strange. Life show wankers. That was <laughs> 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 written. Life show wankers. Gavatron. Yeah. That we cheers, are. Gav. <laughs> Um, so, well, so, oh yes, of course, we had um, Studio Series Thrust has been leaked, I suppose, and it's not the Thrust that many people thought it was going to be in the G1 um, kind of burgundy colour, it's based more on a colour scheme that people think is uh, the Armada Thrust colour scheme, which some people are celebrating, you know, yeah. it doesn't always have to be G1, and other people are bemoaning. Uh, I think it looks quite good. To be honest, I mean, yeah, I can see why people would say it's not our first, it's not the G1 first, but it's not a cone head either, is it? So, no, because it's, it's a little really... bit of a faux cone head, isn't it? Yeah, because what they've actually done is they've just kept part of it behind his head to make him have that cone head silhouette. Yeah, um, and he's still got the same head sculpt, hasn't he? As Blitzwing, yeah, the studio series Blitzwing. Um, it looks taller. He does. Is he wearing heels? Yeah, I'm not he sure if it's just where the way he's posed. I'm not sure. But he's got. Is he got the star scream mold? Well, pass. He, he transforms into what? It star looks screen. like the star scream mold because isn't that yeah. different from um, from Blitzwing? Uh, Blitzwing didn't have the. Yeah, because um, I've intakes. got I've got both. You look more like star scream to me. And you know, star scream <laughs> and bike swing. I've got completely Sorry. different alternative modes. I'm not laughing at you, Jamie. I'm just laughing at Rudy's comment. When's the phone in? Soon. <laughs> soon. Or never. Rudy, I thought you were really. using smoke signals, but yeah. <laughs> and there he is next to now. That's the the version of Thrust. Oh, wasn't it part of Bot a combiner Con? or something like that? Might have been a Botcon one. Thunder Mayhem. Somebody will know in the comments. It will start flashing up. It's definitely RJ, a combiner. RJ, voice, RJ, RJ says yes. RJ says yes. It is. Yeah, yeah he's in the chat. Yeah, Cheers, RJ. Yeah. Right. What's next? And then, just <laughs> I mean, this is going on everyone's Christmas list. I'm sure. 
This is the Megatron helmet, which is, I think is going to be stocked in America by GameStop. I forget the name of the company who make it. They're called something like Iconic or something like that, or Icon. And it is a adult-sized Megatron helmet. It's a full helmet. That's the inside of it. It's got the Decepticon insignia in there, because yeah. you know, we all need that there in that brainstorm style. It looks um, CGI'd on. It looks the previous picture just looks like it's CGI stuck on. I, I think know it probably not. was. Oh, I don't know. I, I think it could have been because you know it's it, this might still be in kind but of. You know, one stage. thing for sure, is glowing if, eyes. If you don't pull the ladies with this bad boy on, you just haven't got a chance, have you? Well, this is yeah. it. I <laughs> the mean, this is what the, all the ladies want. All and, the ladies uh, with taste. And this was that was basically uh, most of the, as we call it, mainstream, mainline news. And uh, now we'll come out of that and we'll do a little bit of third part A news. All those dudes not impressed with that helmet there. He wants a new bucket. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's before the watershed, Alexis. Stop that. Uh, yes. um, now this one, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get this name wrong. So if somebody in the chat help me out, I'm sure it's called Fire Guts, and then it's whatever the the. You know, God of, it was God Ginrai, but that's fire not, God. It's fire God. They, fire they can't God. call yeah. it that, can they? You know, okay. uh, the company that's making fans, is it fans no. toys. Fans um, hobby. They, fans hobby. Sorry, they they can't actually use the official name, but I mean that's basically what it is. And no, it's, it's magnificent. Fire power baser. Look Jim at Ryan. that. God. Fire um, God. Mick made a comment there. He said, imagine hiding in a closet and jumping out to fight your kids wearing that (laughs) Megatron mask. Better still, imagine just going to a stranger's house and jumping out the closet wearing that mask. That would would take the boy out of Glasgow, but you can't take Glasgow out of the boy, can you, Jamie? (laughs) They can't see that box, Mick. Don't hold yourself back. (laughs) Everyone's a target. (laughs) (laughs) Um, It does look very good, though. I mean, I I just love the colours. And that was the um, the well, I want to say original, but the Japanese. It was a Japanese exclusive release, wasn't it? And it was, I believe, mm-hmm. very hard to come by. I think six o. I think that's it is yes, six o photo um, because he's got a copy of it. Um, I like the Sentinel Prime type colours. He always yeah, takes good photos, sure doesn't he? No, oh, six o's you, photos are fantastic. Do, yeah. do you ever think six o takes pish photos? And you know, <laughs> I can't, just always I can't awesome. think of a time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah. You can save that question, can't you, for when um, we have them on? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that paint job is just, it's just gorgeous. I just, I don't know why. I just love it. The colours just work. I like the little figure as well. It just looks oh, shaking. It's where you and uh, Jamie need to get a power baser one day. I was looking at him I do, yesterday, I do, and he's I with my chug, and I was just looking at him and thinking, God, it looks so good. You need to get your hands on the make toys it's on, just mate. It's so expensive. For I mean, look person. at that, though. I mean... Stick that on your shelf. He's all right. No, quite you. He's all right. It's just so I, good. I, I, make I like that one so much. The Make Toys one is really, I think it's better as a bot. If they scaled that up, I think it'd be better. But if, I'm, I'm over keen on it because it's repainting again. But if, if it helps fund Double Dealer, I, exactly. will, I, will, I, will let, I will let it go. I will not gripe. Got to get the Double D. Um, exactly. And then there was this thing. Um, Bloody Azura? Now, I don't that, know what you? this is based off. Alexis, you knew what this was based off, didn't you? Yeah. So there's a little QR. If our fans want to scan that QR, QR code down the bottom right hand corner, I'll tell you all about it. Move on. <laughs> Give a <laughs> man a fish. That I've always enjoyed, Alexis. Give a man a fish, you'll feed him for a day. <laughs> Give him a fishing line, you'll feed him, feed him for a week. <laughs> or some, something Alexis like that. computer and he'll not know what yes. to do with it. There we You're go. teaching um, you how to use Google. Yasha Seawolf. There's the other one from Iron Romance Workshop. Yes, and again, there's the, there's the card, uh, card yeah. uh, code, rather, if you want yeah. to scan it and, and find, find out, out what we do not know. <laughs> yeah. Because okay. we, it, it, looks, it, looks, it, it looks like a, it looks like a stylized um, Seacon, like Seacon, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it could be. Or I'm wondering um, if it's something from the kind of Beast Wars, not necessarily the first Beast Wars series, but some one of the Japanese ones, like was it Beast Wars Two? This um, is all come out from Wonderfest. So again, yeah. you, pictures, not much information. Uh, you, there isn't much. I'll be honest. Yeah, it's just got I urge go. to sing Stingray. You know the theme song Stingray, to Stingray. Stingray. Yeah. Iron Romance Studio, IRS zero six one, and Yasha Seawolf, uh, Yasha Seawolf rather, go. and IRS zero six zero. The so, Lodi Azura. I'm sure you said bloody on the other screen, but anyway. Ben, ben was just asking about where the orange comes from. I, I, again, I, 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 
I don't From think I don't, a, a paint job. I don't, I don't think we. I don't think we know. I think it was just a Japanese. Know. It was a Japanese exclusive. One, the a G one style Optimus uh, yeah. Power Master Optimus um, Prime, wasn't it? And they've just decided, right, we'll do that. Borders do was just saying that that apparently that was a, that potentially is a, a Beast Wars um, rampage. So ah, there you go. Here we go. Oh, oh, we are bemoaned uh, oh, and, for our lack of Beast Wars knowledge yet again. And and depth charge as well. So um, depth charge, yes, which that sounds is, we, uh, familiar. We wanted to let you get there first, okay? You're you're with oh, us. Dazatron scanned the code and it's all in Japanese. He seems <laughs> pleased by that. <laughs> seems to have pleased him. Um, Alexis, what are we looking at here? This is uh, t- Transform Element. Um, and uh, I, I, I say pause because they've renamed themselves Def- Def- Defamation or something, but it's basically Transform Element who have done Mirage and Prime. And Mirage is really good, and their Prime I haven't got them at the box yet. I've got the free Prime I bought that last week, and they've also announced a Seeker, and the, they're very good, two inaccurate bots, good transformations, good in both modes. The articulation articulation is amazing, but they don't sacrifice the articulation for the sculpt. So that's so it's, again. I haven't had one in hand apart from Mirage. And Mirage, by the way, has is no challenge. Articulation is fantastic. And again, this. Um, so so yeah. Um, moving on, as as you're moving me on, this is yes. <laughs> this, <laughs> well done. Don't this need is the this, history lesson. <laughs> this is not Which news. Is this this is not news, it's not news because news. it's not news because someone. This is basically this is trying to get a bit of a rise because this came out in 2017. This is Tetra Jets made, made by, uh, by Mass Toys. On the right hand side, there you have Make Toys. Uh, Mass Toys made a little skiff, little bumblebee skiff. I guess a yeah. little. And yeah. um, someone wanted to try and get a bit of uh, momentum behind this again, see if they could crowdfund because everyone's releasing Seekers. Why isn't someone releasing Tetra? If you scroll through, you'll see the Tetra Jet pictures. So and it yeah. looks like a pretty decent Tetra Jet, MD Ooh. style Tetra Jet. So in, again, these are all the renders which came out, but nothing, nothing actually uh, came of it in the end. So, so um, this isn't actually happening then. No, no, this so is you're like just teasing years, us with something that we can never yes. have. Well, God damn it, Alexis! I, again, if we all get together and you know try and write to that company Mars who isn't there anymore, <laughs> us, us four get together. <laughs> exactly, it's the influence that we have within the community <laughs> and beyond. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, you see, I quite like the look of the cone heads as well. So that's you've just literally let all the air out of, uh, uh, out of the bubble there. Never mind. We move on. Oh, no, more of it. Oh, God, it's going to make me cry. <laughs> and more of it. Look, look how smug he looks. No way. His nose isn't getting made. So then we got a, a bit of magic square. And who so this is getting the... read by? That's a question I would like to know. <laughs> this is the upgrade kit for um, their Optimus Prime. Is it MS-19, the white one? So you can buy Optimus Prime. You can put all this stuff on him and he turns him into Optimus. Uh, he turns into... Uh, Ultra Magnus Transporter. Yeah, because the pieces um, are separate, aren't they? Yeah, and there's a lot of stuff. You go to the next screen. It's uh, that's the trailer, isn't it? Stuff. And then you break it apart into these yep. parts, the and a nice little sketch woman. of what looks like an ant. I mean, I wonder if people ever use the Siege Ultra Magnus and just take the Optimus Prime out there and use it from the return of Optimus Prime. Do you know how people like to put set? You know, dioramas mm. and set pieces, and use it in Optimus Prime. Was it galvanized himself to be protected against the virus? Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. That. that was it. Cora stop or something. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember now. Um, Mick, can I just say Mick, twenty-four Mick saying, in the chat now, which is yeah, very good. I'm surprised Hasbro so haven't done that. Who's uh, joining us? Just saying. Uh, Mick, Mick was just saying. He uh, commented on there, uh, wishing waiting for those MMC tapes. I wrote to MMC a little while back, and they said that. Uh, next year i think for those i think they were getting getting a few things out of the way this year but mmc probably either right at the end of this year or starts next year for those tapes that's what they said tentatively um this is tesla 2.0 from fan stories I, I know someone called out in the chat earlier today pre went up at chosen prime and i didn't even I, again it was about you had about 10 minutes to, to see the see the see the uh post it went up and it went down it was people this. were losing their shit today over this, weren't they? I was watching yeah, really? come up. Yeah, because loads of people didn't get it. Uh, nope. And they were like, nope. right, I'm done. Fuck you, fans, toys, I'm out. Uh, like loads of those. Yeah. Really, I do love like the, the measured reactions. reactions. I pity all those type of people. Just like being <laughs> yes, they because, don't get something. <laughs> because Scotland won last night. Uh, it's right. Look, so this, you, again, you just acted like you were. It afterwards. feels like it won. It was. <laughs> the price of this. Just Wembley. Two two hundred and two hundred and thirty bucks dollars. So um, I imagine it'd be around the sort of two hundred pound retail mark, about one hundred and eighty, which appears to be what they 
I'm just going back for one second for right now. Oh, no, and and the other bit, the other big news as well on this is they um is his face released... a bit derpy or is that my imagination? He's a bit derpy. He's getting excited for fans' toys in Nintendo. He's going, yeah, 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 I got a gun. And a cheeky bike <laughs> shot, yeah. Double needs to mate. <laughs> um, they uh they're also releasing Kick. the uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fans' toys also re-releasing their um Iron Diebots. So they're re-releasing all their Dinobots again. Um, so Stomp went up again, three hundred bucks. Uh, swoop blue blue chest sweep went up again, two hundred and thirty bucks. So uh, yeah, it's amazing how these things just fall out the woodwork again. Um, but again, they're selling out like like things that sell out quickly. But it's not cheap. Oops. Skip yeah. past a photo of the different faces you can get. There we go. Oh, he's sad. Oh, look at the sad face. Oh, that's, that's, the, that's, me. that's the that's the dying prime face. That is. That's got oh. to be. Or the, oh, I didn't, or, fatal. Or, or the I didn't get the uh, pre-order price. Oh, he's just yeah. realised he transforms into a microscope. I mean, if we're going to be honest here, that one, that one's the I didn't get the pre-order phase there. <laughs> Definitely. Anyway, um, we've we've seen it quite enough of this now. Very nice. Shout out to Legendo Flight, uh, Flight One. He loves a bit of fans' toys innuendo. So, he loves a bit of it. Um, he loves it. So uh, this is the reissue then of um, yeah. Tesla and Saw, and is it Stump as well? The three oh, of them you I said because of the because of the because the weather based in the world. Obviously, I clicked this first thing this morning and logged in. And I find if you log in at four a.m., you get one. If you log in at mm. six a.m., you don't get one. So again, it's like it's pays to be somewhere it. else in the world is what you're saying, Alexis. Or we'll just be yeah. Uh, or just yeah, say, or you know, just... I'm clock. Technology is amazing these days. Alarm I did no no no, no no but point. The no, no, but the point is though, Jay, is that the that notification went up ten minutes before it went up on the website. So there was no n- normally you get a day or like we're gonna put this up in a couple of days or tomorrow. Like you're telling everyone really off. Planet so. X. No, Planet I, X. I, oh, is this the, get it. Okay. Is this the Maximum Dinobot style IDW uh, Maximum Dinobot style Grimlock? Yeah, it's so has that look. Done, Planet Gosh. X have done from uh, the War of Cybertron and the trilogy, the computer game. They've done a few of those. They've done Tripticon and uh, a few other bits of the Tetrajets, and they did um, other bits and pieces like that as well. I've got the R- Ratchet and I, but they do look very much um, IDW stylized. So again, if you like your, as Andy said... That looks a lot like the... Yeah, it must be, because that could have come straight off the page. Yeah, I just TXO like it. Ka- Kakas? Unfortunate name. I mean, it looks good, but I don't like it as I can walk if that makes sense. Mm. <laughs> I really miss the red. That little it bit just of writing. Look, it at the looks too there. much like a cartoon version, you know, a caricature of what Grimlock. Yeah, would be. but that's. I mean, that is. It is based off a highly stylized piece of IDW. Art, so you know, it's yeah. I mean, for from an engineering point of view, it's and a design point of view, it's great. But oh yeah, it's if just, you're not it into the design. Fair enough. It's just not my Grimlock. That's, yeah. that's what I'm saying. No. <laughs> Uh, just, just your comment, borders do about Kapow potentially get them. Uh, yes, yeah, sincerely hope so. I think um, we're a bit, bit luckier with the UK retailers. They do give you a little bit more notice. Again, set your alarm clock. Um, so I think majority of the guys will have them. I think that they were the first potentially to get them. So it's like it's like the bugs when they went out as well. And you know, I, I, you can still get bugs. It was the initial hit of it. I still know places you can buy bugs because people came to their senses and said, "I'm not going to spend four hundred fifty quid on some bugs." I mean, how did they scale compared to the other guys who do the IDW stuff, the MMC? Uh, similar size. They're um, yes, they're, they're similar size. They're about the, so I don't I don't know how big this is, but the ones that I've got, the other other ones are about just a bit uh, six inches, so six seven inches, so similar sort of size. And what are we looking and, uh, at here, Alexis? So I've written this down because I can't remember. The, uh, it's a very uh, niche company that's made this. Um, they uh, DSFX Beast Legends. That's Delta Sierra Foxtrot X Ray. Uh, they 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 made this. They've made quite a few other Beast Wars head sculpts as well. This is their own design of a uh, pterosaur. Um, they're making 150 of these. It's up for pre order as well. Um, so go onto Facebook and type and look up DSFX Beast Legends if you want to. It's 150 quid. It stands at eight inches tall. So if you're into your MP Dino uh, MP Beast Wars and you've got the rest of the Takara ones, but then... Paint doesn't look great. Like, it looks like my Warhammer paint. It looks, from, yeah, uh, it, I when think I was it looks 14. like a prototype, doesn't it? It looks, it, you know, it, unfinished. It, 14, almost. I mean 15. It's, it's, it's still not, fantastic. The texture looks good, for, but yeah, yeah, I see what he means by the paint. It looks like I've done it. So this is a this is a very this is a, this is a very small company in the, in the sense of the scale of like what we have with other guys. Um, if you go onto their Facebook page, you'll see what they do. I, I think this is the first. I don't know if it's the first figure. I scroll down a long way. I saw 
other head sculpts and what they've done before is they've done sort of like almost like full size sort of like the, the, the like the megatron helmet sort of stylized around sort of they've done uh waspinator and pterosaur and Ty- uh, not tigertron Tig- who's the silver bolt as well um again it, if you're into beast wars then it does look very it. chug like though doesn't it because it's yeah. not like it's paneled or you know they're covered in hidden parts you can see the underneath carriage can't you quite clearly they've cleverly hidden the head of the beast mode there just having to hang out on his back. You know, it looks more like a chug size to me and on chug build than it would MP. It's got a bit of an MMC kind of look to it. And then this, which is the Lego Ape face. Alexis? Uh, yeah, we, we're all about CJ face in this show, as we know, with the appreciation. <laughs> we do love him. So if love anyone Ape does want to help out for the Razor CJ face for Paul Foundation. We are taking donations at Christmas. As many like CJ to, faces as possible. We like to send Paul a CJ face for Christmas because no. a, a CJ uh, no <laughs> no a CJ Stop face. It's not just it. for Christmas. Really no. says no. so, this is, so this is this is a Lego Transformer. So I just got it. so if you go on and Google it, you can find it. Uh, it transforms from this jet into that gorilla, which is pretty cool. And you can it's got a, a headmaster as well. Yeah, the jet mode does look better than the actual Beast War Chug version, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks better than most versions of Apex, <laughs> to be oh, fair. Yeah. In jet well, mode. I'm not and sure what the world is looking at, but again, yeah. thank Alexis, you, RJ. You've got a cheeky little custom corner now, haven't you? Yeah, just a little bit. Um, so Cheeky? Um, cheeky. Our good friend Nathan at Clutterdesk uh, has been beavering away, as usual. So let me just share his screeny. So um, Simon Ball wanted me to show off a couple of bits and pieces, first of all, um, which was, sure. this is a, a Sawback, um, which is a mother custom that he got made. Uh, if anyone remembers Sawback at all. So this is made from R.I.D. Blur. And it's a pretty cool, I don't remember who Sawback is. I think he's from R.I.D. Um, but again, pretty cool. So he got Nathan to commission a few of these for him. This is one of them. And then we, and the re- reason this came up is because we remember we showed off the Headmaster Juniors last week or the week before, I think, which fans will be doing. So um, uh, Nathan made Simon uh, Headmaster Juniors. So you've got Hose Head here, which has been made from uh, TR uh, Quake hard or head. Um, Hard Head. Oh, it might well. have been Quake, but yeah, it's the, the same mold, isn't it? There we go. Uh, as well. And, uh, and then he's been very busy on his own, Nathan's been very busy in his own set of customs as well, um, which that which, looks which, really good. That's this is my favourite of the lot, which is, and again, it's it's all mask, all mask related. Oh, this is um, Nathan's, isn't it? This is a fantastic. Yeah. So there, yeah. So again, he's he's gone through quite a few of these. Have we all seen his moment. Pepsi Prime as well? Have we got that coming up, or have I just done a I, big spoiler I there, Alexis? No, I haven't got that one actually. I, oh, I did, his I did Pepsi that. Prime's brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll get Pepsi Prime. Really we'll get Pepsi is. Prime for next week. I actually saw the Pepsi Prime thing, and I actually thought it was a genuine third party thing. Well, Nathan uh, posted some of the photos somehow, and I was looking, and it came up on my notifications, and I was looking at it, and somebody, I'm sure it was somebody over in America. I put a comment on saying, oh my God, this is incredible. Where, where can we order this from? And, it, you know, you just have to like... Yeah, because the yeah. photos were so good. I honestly thought yeah. it was genuine third party. Or it was like a Takada release, you know. And Nathan thing. will correct us, but I think he did the like some of the design for the, for the, um, the decals. He actually had to do it all himself and sort it all out so that it would fit, obviously, perfectly. And, and I then, still... You know, and I still like his blaster. To me, that is the best. Yeah. You know, no matter what. Which again got mistaken for um, a genuine figure. A genuine, it? yeah, generations yeah. figure. Which is the best homage, good. isn't it? You can actually pay to someone. You think it's a genuine thing. That's it. There we go. So that's that's custom corner this week. Custom corner. Paul, we can't hear you. And, and Simon Bolt, I think he still owes me two swords, so get out of the post. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. I... It's now time for Fans Toys and Yueno. Gentlemen, look at this. Two of my heroes. Two role models. Madly. Should be should be promised to release. Really. He, he's smelling his fingers there. But that's what... man, the, man the holder at the back. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're holding. He, she just thought of bombs everything, doesn't she? It's just a head. He's got it in a backpack yeah. behind him. You know how space marines have like that big section. He has Amanda Holden as his uh, shoulder plate. He's so holding. Who's hiding beneath um, these two little beasts? 
That was painful. Yeah. I mean, I've got to be honest, it's not the biggest clue to who this might be. And is, well, it, again, this is a fan's toys figure. Yeah. What was painful this week in fan's toys news? Um, um, the old fire god Ginrai type thing? No. Oh, so close. What, what was painful? That was painful. What, the pre-order? Was it pre-order? Was it... Um... Um, oh, um... It was. It was the pre-order. He hasn't got any of his credit card details there. No, <laughs> it was his pre-order. <laughs> yes, it was. So it was Tesla. Um, fans got his detector. address. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, mate. Uh, so yeah, it was Tesla. So, um... <laughs> you go back Going to the picture soon. of the top list lady, because I was quite enjoying that. <laughs> What's her name? Judy Finnegan. Mm-hmm. You, were... you go for the Judy, do you, Jamie? No, I've, I've already had two bottles, to be quite honest. Yeah, that it, that's bottles. all it takes. <laughs> yeah, two, bottles. There you go. two bottles for, and she's fine. <laughs> two. For, right. our, our, for our watchers, uh, RJ, I believe, is putting in the chat uh, a link to Nathan's... Pickups. Nathan's... Um... We now return to the Transformers. Who would like to go first? I'll go first. I didn't get anything this week. Yes. Oh, okay. You can go Yet. First. <laughs> well, by by the end of the know. show, <laughs> <laughs> probably not. He might turn up <laughs> by, by tomorrow last. morning. Dammers for doing scripts. it on a Saturday on Father's Day weekend. Well, Alexis, I must, I must say, Liam's been slacking on crap transformer corner recently. I would have thought he stepped up this week. Oh, he's, he's saving his tomorrow. pennies, saving his pennies for holidays. Mm. I do the same. Uh, right, so, I got this wonderful thing. I got the last two Seacons. So, oh, a thousand kills. Uh, octopusy. Right. Octopus. <laughs> Tentacle. <laughs> That's it. That was oh. And then, <laughs> whoever this Beast Wars knockoff is. <laughs> uh, uh, sea Wing. The original. Sea Wing. That's the OG. Him. Exactly. And then I got. Uh, these as well so just getting on to the uh let me get to the right share screen i also got um new age shockwave as well disappointed with new age shockwave's box can't reach it it's too new far away but... box was it oh it no, came it's just in. too far it away that's really... why he's disappointed hi burger no eight it's joined it the chat and will hi will no, it wasn't it was it wasn't really um uh what's it called um protected Sorry, I've just lost the zoom. Oh, yeah. kind of being a screen. Box perfect, like but me. no, it just, it just it just all dented and stuff. So it was really really annoyed with it. But I thought I'd just have a couple of pictures of him. Um, here he is with Bumblebee, Magic Square. I prefer Magic Square Bumblebee. So there's Bobby Skullface, which is great. Got the right one. And then uh, here he is with the other guys I've got. So uh, who is this? It's Magic like Square Bumblebee and New, a new, a new Age <laughs> Soundwave. And he's actually quite small. Um, this guy is but uh and if you look at him next to magic square uh, i i don't know i I, I'm, I like things about both of them as well it's gonna be hard to choose between them i think overall i think shockwave new air shockwave is a little bit small but he's he's i imagine he's probably the same height as their um megatron I probably should have put him next to each other actually the mega good one but he's a, he's a really nice figure he's really well painted um usual usual new age standard really so um that's him oh cool. uh, Right, I'll go next. This is a quick one. I just got uh, this was literally today. We've stuck into Smith's. I was gandering at the selection and uh, I couldn't think of what to buy and I bought him. So I got Dinobot from uh, Kingdom. And when I saw him on the box, the alt mode looked impressive, immense, and the uh, robot mode didn't look that good. When I actually got him out, the robot mode's spot on. It's brilliant. Uh, the alt mode, they cover up on the pictures a lot of his undercarriage where he's basically got his hands or his legs. Uh, wrapped up but it's still it's still cool it's still a cool alt mode uh the way he hides his gun in his alt mode is quite simply the best uh mode of uh, hiding gun in alt mode i've ever seen possibly since studio series J- jazz where he has the uh, exhaust uh made up of his guns so um yeah no i was happy with him just him today uh i got some more stickers for my 2020 uh euros folder but um yeah just that jamie how did you get on this week um, today, um, well, this week, I'm still waiting for my swords. So, um, for two figures which I bought, so I can take photos and have a complete show. But I did pick up um, two little figures from Fan, ooh, fan Toys. Um, I have no idea what they're called, but they looked quite cool and quite cute. They, they with the Fan Toy version, I think of is it Big Powered? 
And I've got the Takada version, so I just figured, you know, I'm just going to get these two figures who transform yet again into something I'm not sure what is, some Energon compartment type thing, I have no clue. But I just figured I'd pick them up because I quite like them. They, they can pose quite cool. I like um, miniature Transformers, Micro Transformers, the Micro Masters, etc. You know, I like to customise stuff as well. So I figured with quite good articulation, they'll be good to pick up. So I got those two, which are for five at each. You know, so they would at least they match the colours are big powered. Um, I also, this week, got just today, actually, um, three comics. So I've got Transformers Escape, Issue 4, um, Transformers The Main Line, Issue 29 and 30, which the story's starting to take, you know, some pace to it. It's starting to quite exciting, quite good. Only took up to about Issue 24, 26 for that to happen. So talk about a hell of a slow burn with that. And also this week, the last of my um, troop building for my Cobra Viper figures. Oh. And that is my pickups. Well, thank you, you, sir. Right, um, it is now time for Rohan's Corner. So, uh, who wants to start off? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Um, Sorry, I'm back. Sorry. Rohan. Rohan. Beautiful. Throw hand. Thank you, gentlemen. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Rohan's Corner. And this week, it is the conclusion of the best on-screen Transformers deaths, part three. And I've saved the anomalous characters till last. So these guys are all coming from various different shows. And we kick off with none other than Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper. What an epic start to that show great animation and we see in the very first scene of the very first episode a huge battle between the galantious um i just made that word up um sorry, uh, cliff jumper character voiced by the rock with this strong you know sort of bravado he's showing off and he's going 100 to 1 against all these vehicle drones and his horn is detached and then he's basically beaten after a huge energon explosion and taken back to the ship and Starscream thrusts and kills him with a single blow with his bare fingers which is pretty brutal to be honest with you but it gets even worse when he comes back as a zombie and it's quite gruesome and probably the most gruesome uh, Transformers Autobot death since G1 Prowl or Armada Smokescreen those characters that I covered on my previous episode so you know I, pretty pretty epic in my opinion great start to that show and it sets it up nicely and showcase the Decepticon power from episode one my second character that I want to pick out for my final episode is Transformers Cyberverse Blur. And the reason why I'm picking Blur's death is because it's quite a homage to Generation 1, to Cybertron, in the sense that we've got the return of Cosmic Rust, it's set on Velocitron, it's sort of the G1 type Blur character, very speedy, very uh, talks very fast, and he sacrifices himself and uh, is engulfed by the um, Cosmic Rust at the end there, and you can just see it taking over his body very quickly, as fast as he did, kind of ironically, and then he just vanishes into dust and to, into nothing and that's kind of sad with some somber music playing over the background and they don't really mention it again which is kind of lame but hey that's that's what happened so uh, yeah Transformers uh, Cyberverse Blur number two number three is the first of my movie bots and it is Revenge of the Fallen Sideways now I'm not a big fan of the Bayverse movies but this death was quite good in the sense that we had a very cool car in the Audi R8 at the time one of the coolest cars out there a great driving scene where he's trying to escape I think or do damage it's not very clear what he's trying to do because he hasn't got any nines so he doesn't actually say anything but he blasts through this building at one point it's the only 
time we actually see him transform into bot mode for a few milliseconds. Sideswipe swoops in, does this sort of cool and elegant kind of moves, very suave, and sl transforms and slices him down the middle, which is very, very cool and very, very epic. It's a shame that Sideways didn't get more time to actually have a character, but, you know, at the same time, it was a very cool death, and I did enjoy that. And my very final choice for the best on-screen Transformers deaths is actually another movie character, but it's from the Bumblebee movie, and it is Cliff Jumper. How could we not talk about Cliff? He seems to always be dying these days. Uh, in this uh, incarnation of the character, we see him taking on Shatter and Dropkick, the two Decepticon mercenaries who have captured him on the moon and uh, already displaced his arm. He's already lost his arm. And uh, they're sort of trying to get information out of him, torturing him, and he's a soldier to the end. He doesn't give up anything. And ultimately gets split down the middle in bot mode, which is almost even more gruesome than uh, Sideways in Revenge of the Fallen in the sense that you see his body split apart. And again, nobody really much mentions him after that, but poor Cliff, he's gone. So that concludes my top on-screen Transformers deaths from all of the various different series and films. What did you all think? Did you like my choices? Are there any others that you would have liked to see in there? Are there any series that I missed out that you would have liked to see some from? There are a couple of honorable mentions from the Japanese series. I remember Predaking King getting sliced down the middle and his brain being seen as he was sliced. That was quite cool. Um, but yeah, any others, let us know here on Transformers The Show. For another week, I've been Rohan. Back to the studio. Hey boys, we've been rumbled. Well, let's bounce. <laughs>what moon was that because we could see buddy was it saturn in the background oh would that do i've never been up logic. to the moon personally so i, I do don't know jamie do not what, let logic cloud the bay versus well, no. movies you know that's not how they work saturn has moons saturn has moons that's, that's, that's what i was saying yeah. so was it a saturn moon? Moon? titan it must have been moon. and the, those moons have names i'm just saying yeah. okay right <laughs> Good digression, right? So on to our discussion now. I've not missed anything. This is the discussion, isn't it? Yeah, I believe it is. Good. Right. Uh, so um, any questions you want, stick them into um, the chat. Uh, we'll take them. We have got some to start us off. So um, thank you, Rudy, for uh, sending these in. So the first one he's put is a question for you guys. So um, your favorite animation error of all time, uh, the one that absolutely lulls you and you just think, what the actual F? Sludge in Transformers the movie when he gets smashed by Devastator and his eyeballs pop out because it always stuck out because it was just such a random thing to stick in there. Like the animator for that little bit didn't get the memo about how this was supposed to be and he thought it was Tom and Jerry. Um, my my favourite one would have to also be Transformers the movie when we look at Cyclonus and we look at um, his predecessor, what he came from and how they put an Insecticon there by mistake. Yeah, that was a terrible mistake, wasn't it, really? Yeah. Because we all know Skywarp. Yeah. No. Skywarp's the man. <laughs> Have you got one, Alexis? Or are you keeping an eye on the questions coming through in the uh, chat? No, no I was going to say um, my favourite is the one that every that animation that mm -hmm. everyone loves, that everyone's favourite season three one, Charge in C minor. Oh, my God. The countless errors on that. Oh, I mean, carnage uh, what, in C minor. Carnage, carnage in C minor. Sorry, uh, the amount of errors on that. I was just like, I mean, it literally was carnage. It, it was carnage in my what video. Said, Galvatron soundwave holding hands what? in carnage in C minor. No offense, Alexis, <laughs> but why did I get the feeling that you just watched Owl Fire's excellent YouTube video <laughs> on charge <laughs> on that? Um, you know, carnage in C minor. Yes, carnage <laughs> not in C charge minor. in C minor. But don't be oh, no, sorry. So I had, I had, I had it. I had. I always just put charge. It was I excellent. It, I will fire. It was good. And um, I had that one on VHS along with Nightmare Planet. And there was, and then I think it was the Ultimate Weapon. I think they were like a triple box set at the time. And I've still got the VHS somewhere, probably at my mum's house. Um, but those, that, yeah, there was so much going in Carnage. It was just like, it, it started to get good when you saw Metroplex at the end. And then it just ended. And I was like, wow, 
What did I, what did I watch? I had no idea what was going on. So I always right. wondered if the G1 cartoons, like when we saw the Seekers, I mean, sometimes you would see new different Seekers in G1. If that was just animators going crazy, or was it genuine editors that were actually trying to use Thundercracker, Skywalk, and Starscream? And sometimes they just got bored with the colors and just put anything there. I think some some of them were genuine errors, weren't they? Wasn't there, I can't remember the name of the episode when Megatron was fighting Optimus Prime and there was like two bots, both coloured as Starscream, sat next to each other and it was supposed to be Starscream and either Skywarp or Thundercracker. Yeah. Some of them are just cock-ups and some of them aren't. The thing was, though, as a kid, I don't remember noticing them other than the Transformers the movie one because it just stuck out. Well, but, like, always... As an adult, you watch them back and they were all so glaring. I just presumed as a kid, it was almost like the Batman series, you know, when Batman started fighting baddies would appear out of nowhere. And sometimes these <laughs> were just troops, which we didn't know because you just weren't important enough to have individual names. They were canning for the... But, hmm. but there was... But all of you done a... yours? Uh, animation era. Probably the only one which makes me laugh is probably when Hound is a pounding spike. Uh, That's on not the an error though, is it's it? It's not an error, but it does look like they're doing a That's so, so right. Yeah, right. Um, so next question. Pounds. Right. So, any if you want to join in with the questions, just pop your question into the chat. It can be about absolutely anything, um, <laughs> apart from Chelsea, because Alexis gets a bit sore about when you bring up his team. All last so night's question, football. Yeah, Which was no, a fantastic no, result. It wasn't a result; it was a draw. So, question two: <laughs> Which one from this toy, growing up, was the one that you just couldn't stop playing with? Which Transformers toy? Sorry. Yeah, as a, when you were growing up, what did you play with the most? Scorpionox. What did you not stop transforming? Scorpionox. Yeah, probably. I can, yeah, probably double dealer Scorpionox. Power Master. Power Master Optimus Prime. Oh, Power Master Optimus Prime all the way. Alexis. Double. I think double dealer. I remember. Oh, two double dealers. <laughs> we all two, love yeah. a bit of double D. Come on, get on board the double D oh, train. The the D, Jamie. Scorpionox. Scorpionox. Sorry, you said that right. I mean, and there's a Tron. Would... Close seconds would be MicroMasters because again, being able to build that whole when you had when you had like all the bases to get all the joined up little bases and then just yeah <laughs> destroy them all like Lego. And they're easy to transform for you. Um, Desertron One <laughs> uh, has a question: If you guys were still a transformer, what would you turn into? It's a well good question, Desertron. Good question. What would you turn into? I'd be a jet, something like that, because I always loved the jet transformers. As much as I love Double E, I always love like the Seekers and stuff like and Cyclonus. Not so much Scourge because it was a flying tub, but you know, something like that. Good. A jet. I guess my, I, can't, I can't say the same thing, can I? <laughs> I got to say something you different. Can't the same thing. You can't say jet. the same thing. You're allowed to have your, uh, uh, your uh, own opinion. I, 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 was think, I was thinking some sort of. Um, Bra. Uh, like, like, dark, like, almost like, almost like Darkwing or Dreadwing. Like that sort of. Almost like a half half jet, half Laden space Hosen. plane. <laughs> so, not not quite Cyclonus, but like a Dreadwing, Darkwing sort of style. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd probably, what would you do, Jamie? I honestly don't know. I would transform into something, I don't know, either a microwave or a tricycle. <laughs> a tricycle? <laughs> <laughs> something that would be non-imposing, you know, because that's the whole point. Uh, of the Tron. It's, 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 it's to blend in. No one, no one would... It would give a second glance to a tricycle, wouldn't they? You know, you would have small toddlers riding you around there. Perfect, perfect <laughs> camera <fudge. laughs> What? What is the? What's? What's the one that? I've, what's scooter? Your scooter from the GoBots, Jamie? Oh my God, scooter! Apart from the annoying <laughs> face, I wouldn't have the annoying face like there. You know, because there's no point transforming into something and then having a face that just stands out. But yeah, it's, you know, something inconspicuous. That'd be the galaxy, the whole galaxy. Probably the Andromeda galaxy because it's bigger than the Milky Way galaxy and all the stars would form. Because then you could beat Unicorn, oh. couldn't you? You'd be... I put me in like the chocolate bar galaxy. Oh, yeah. No, possibly. possibly. And then you um, Milky Way. I, was I like, like Mick's question. Uh, Simon on Fingers on Plastics <laughs> asks... <laughs> you, you were going to skip that. <laughs> what is your Mick favorite? Asked, why is CJ Place the greatest transformer of all time? <laughs> Thanks, Mick. That's not a question. It's a, <laughs> it's a we statement. Call, a wanky <laughs> statement. Um, so Simon from Vigas on Plastic asked, um, what's your favourite current Transformer like out at the moment? Ooh. I can't um, Wrecker. Um, the Wrecker Inferno. Do you know what? I was just going to say, of the Kingdom bots and stuff that's come out recently, Inferno is the one that still stands out for me and just how good it is. And just, yeah, he, he is a fantastic figure. 
I actually hurt myself there. <laughs> you, don't know your own, you either don't know your own strength or you're one of the weakest humans on the planet. I'm incredibly powerful. I was like, <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Smash my own ribs. In. Mine's probably still Cyclonus. I know it's fairly, it's probably not yeah, brand Cyclonus new. Yeah, Cyclonus could be up there. Have you, bought, have, you, have, you bought, have you bought him yet? You bought him yet? Who? Not, Quint, not Quintus, Quintus. Not the fans' toys one, just yeah. normal kingdom Cyclonus. Okay. What's your favourite Alexis at the moment? Um, I'd probably say the ones that I'm, I would, I, if I look back at the things I've got, because they're not in my room, it's hard to, I haven't played with anything in a long time properly. Um, but I was well, quite Transform. keen on them. Um, We're talking about Transformers though, Alexis. Fuck off. Robert Kinnickvon, <laughs> you've yet to transform that bad boy. Have you? I have. That was me. I have. I've, really? I've, I've, I've Can you show back, us I've now? No, he's, he's too far away. Is he? So, is he now? We'll keep in order. He's, he's, he's in robot mode at the moment, so I can't really, he's too heavy to pick up. Mm. Anyway, probably the MMC um, Compaticons. I'm really, really still into those. I just think aesthetically they look really cool. Um, they're really nice spots. I'm trying. I'm thinking about getting a second set of the limbs and the Zeta uh, torso, and then buying the foot 3D printed like parts to combine all How together. How much do they cost it. for all of them again? Uh, you can get them on the second hand market for about four hundred and eighty to five hundred. Cool. Probably. Okay, let's take another question because you're getting very specific <laughs> about that question. Yeah. Uh, James Davo asked, "What uh, his question? What's your most regretful transform that you wish you bought or, or you missed out on?" Uh, sub question: Why doesn't Paul return my calls? I do. I take you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you big poo. Um, James runs um, the excellent Transformers Selling Unlimited, Transformers Unlimited. So go check that group out on Facebook. So something that you um, you wish you bought and you missed out on, Alexis. Quick, quick shout out for that. Oh, quick shout out for Chris, Christopher Mead as well, who apparently is uh, on the group right now. And if you watch, if you're on the group, he's linking to this and he's giving away deals at the moment from his shed. So Ooh. go on to James Davo's group, look up Christopher Mead, and you might get yourself get some shed uh, deals. Mead, he's always now. got. Yeah, Mead's stop watching us and go. And go no, don't stop watching us. Go afterwards. <laughs> There'll still be stuff left. There always is. Mead's got the deals for you. There's a there's a beauty of windows. You can have two of them. <laughs> Oh, so to, what, to look out of Ooh, the most joke. regret that was, so was it, so the, sorry <laughs> yeah. sorry Alexis, could you try answering the question was, that'd be so awesome so it was, yeah <laughs> so it was a, it, what have i what's the regretful transformer that i've bought no, no you one that you regret on. missing out on so you've bought it you oh. and you missed it oh oh uh um i've missed out on I don't think I've missed out on any. I think I've got more. Insector coins, done it for you. Nah, I've already got one set. It was it was getting a second set. And you missed out on them because you wanted a different car. No, no, I can you can still buy them. I just <laughs> you keep asking Damien. Somebody else. You know you missed out on them, so shut up. <laughs> I'll give you one. I'll give you one. Uh, um, uh, as a kid, uh, a bludgeon, because I had a chance to get bludgeon in uh, my local Woolworths, and I got double. Was it called double header? The Autobot, <laughs> the two-headed Autobot pretender. Yeah. I was a child, Alexis, keep it clean. Um, and, of course, Bludgeon's gone on to be one, because I would have looked after it, Bludgeon's gone on to be one that costs an absolute fortune to, to pick up on the secondary market. I mean, you can kind of get it a bit cheaper if you're looking, you can get the parts separately, but usually if it's a complete one, it's over £100 at least. So, yes. Yeah, oh, Heather was quite expensive. Oh, or Thunderwing, the Bludgeon, original, like, uh... mint condition Thunderwing would have been nice as well. Might probably be got... some of the new age seekers. They've gone up a bit in price. I've got one, two, I've got nine of them now. Um, I keep the game uh, for getting to get the newer ones, and they shoot up in price, don't they? Um, stuff like New Age and Nine Factory. If you don't get on release, some fans toys. Jamie, I guess you're like Lexus. You've just bought everything, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really um, applied. I, I, no, I. There's you miss out stuff. on getting six of one. <laughs> I, I plenty of stuff I've missed out on, and you know, and so, it's like um, I missed out in this sort of like um, last year. Someone was, and I, it got linked to me. I think Alexis shared it to me, and other people did in the forums of this sort of um, pretender monster bots. You know, someone was doing a whole entire set of them. You know, fairly complete something like about three hundred and fifty quid, and um, I didn't get them. You know, because I really believed in using money to buy food so I can eat and not starve to death. But you know, I, I do wish. I did get them because, you know, I kind of liked them. It's just at that cost that, you know, I just I just didn't think they were worth it, especially when you think about gold plastic syndrome and it can almost disintegrate, you know, the minute I touch the damn thing. So, yeah, I do cool. I do have... We all have regrets, Paul. We Dark do. Regrets in the deepest of us. I do. Ear, earrings. I thought, thought of it. I thought <laughs> about it. I thought about it. I remember it now. I remember it now. Yep. 
uh, they, uh, I can't remember the name of them, but there was some, there were some really pish poor Tetra jets that were made a long time ago. There was, there was nine of them and they now retail. I think uh, they retail, I think I gear, I gear, that's them. And I gear went out of business. The guy, they did it, uh, the shot cons, which was pretty shot but again, they went out of business. The Tetra jets were pretty shit in robot mode, pretty okay in alt mode, but you're now paying about 80 pounds per one. So 80 times nine, fuck off. <laughs> Not doing that. Sure. Um, Dave Dave Wavell's uh, Blue had a good question. Uh, he said, if you're going to commission a custom, what would it be? And then he said he'd probably go for a Chug Star Saber. So well, if you're going to commission Ooh, yeah. one custom, <laughs> minor objects, uh, who wants to go first? Jamie, what would you do? Blaster. <laughs> no, oh. That's it. That's it. And the photo okay. box. Well, that's two, so, okay. I don't care. Anything else? <laughs> Uh, a decent eight face. I would do that drug sized eight face because there isn't one, so that's why that would have to happen. Um, I'd go for needle nose and probably crankcase. In fact, all of the the well, both of the trigger guns. Trigger all of them. There was more than two, wasn't there? There was the plain one that's I never liked, but I'd, I'd still want all of them. Um, crankcase in particular because he was always my favorite. Um, and he's my Twitter handle, Twitter name. Crankcase 79. So, yeah, I'd have gone for Crankcase. And Needle Nose, just because I always liked the character, even though he was a coward. I just thought he was quite cool. Um, and I don't think we've had a proper version of that, apart from that um, very rare one. I always liked to be Needle Nose was drawn in the Transformers Marvel comic. You could almost see the fear in his eyes, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Seen, like, I love that, that story as well. Like, yeah. And then he got, he when got the fight, killed uh, by Canada. More cops of the. Oh, yeah, when the training. Yeah. And then spin a so still because yeah. he's mates. Just, just to point out, it wasn't idea. It was impossible toys, which are, uh, which, all, which were even worse than I. You didn't even they give did us the... Alexis. You didn't even give us Dave. No. Uh, Dave wave his blues best question, which was surely, "What did you have for breakfast?" I mean, that's we're getting to the real meat and, <laughs> and everything of the the matter there. Exactly. What did you have for breakfast? Uh, so, Bumble Lee. So my, 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 my custom. Sorry, my custom. My custom would would have been double dealer before fans hobby. Now would be an MP punch counter punch. That's what I'd have. Cool. Sorry, Don Paul. Cool. Uh, I've lost the question now. Bumble Lee said, um, uh, right, so um, after looking over here, sorry. Any, any tips for any doing tips? YouTube videos? Uh, great show, by the way. Thank you. That's awesome that you said that. Um, we're Thank not you. brilliant YouTubers. <laughs> I don't think we should take any tips from us. Um, the only thing we do is we just like don't catching up this. and having a beer, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> On Friday nights and Saturday nights. So, um, just do uh, something that you uh, enjoy doing, uh, and then I guess the rest is it makes not it relatively easy. You do what you do that on YouTube. Well, that's you know? only fans. If, if you, isn't it? So we that's... almost went a whole show <laughs> without Jamie. If you want, <laughs> if you want to do, if you want, if you want tips on YouTube, go to the YouTube creators place. That's where we go. <laughs> we're not. We're, yeah. we're learning as well. Rudy um, said an, another gone. Uh, Rudy want... said, "Did you guys get Star Trek at TFN at all?" Or was it just him? Well, I did. In fact, I did, yeah. the first day I was waving at Rudy and he waved back like from quite far away. So I'd seen his videos, but obviously he didn't know who I was. It was nice of him to wave, but um, I knew him. And then suddenly I was waving and I realized um, he doesn't know who I am at all because like I'd never met him or spoken to him at all. So I got a little bit starstruck there, seeing Rudy's science fancy experience on YouTube. Um, few as well mm. was walking about, uh, chatting to people. So, so I just put my head down and pretended... He was famous and really cool. But your um, wife went up and spoke to him, didn't she? Yeah, well, we, I, I met him at the first TF Nation. We just stopped him, quick chat, and had a photo. And then at the second TF Nation, we were all drinking at the table, weren't we? And uh, Claire had, I think she'd gone off to go to Lou or something like that. And then she was on her way back in and she bumped into him and just started chatting to him. And I'd spotted, <laughs> or somebody spotted, some, I'm sure somebody else spotted and said, said something like, Is that Claire talking to you over there? And I was up and <laughs> leaping over the seats and running. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this is that's she's my wife. You can have her if you <laughs> can want. I have a photo now. <laughs> I actually took a Andy, decent photo Andy. that time with a bit of gurning in it because if you're going to have a photo done with you, you've got to, you've got to pull some kind of a face. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. You, just let, you, just let your, you let your phone voice come out there, Andy. Um, no, that's my proper so, voice. That's uh, how I normally talk. Da <laughs> Daz Dazatron says he'd like to have a, a UK deaf head custom. Uh, MMC did Ooh, a deaf head. You can find it. Yeah. MMC do a good dead he deaf head, and it's that sort of that sort of scale if you like it as well. Um, one it's of quite Bumble, rare, Bumble though, Lee, though, isn't it? Uh, but Bumble. 
Bumblebee said, um, what advice would you give someone who's starting a Transformers collection? Um, Buy some. I, so, I just wanted to say, to be, to be honest with them, um, when it comes to the YouTube stuff, so you guys really know this, we leave it all to Paul. Yeah. And what we do is we come up with ideas and we keep tagging Paul in until he agrees or can do it because we can't. And that's just the truth. Oh, Paul is, Paul Paul is all the nuts magic. and bolts and also the host and also mostly the editor and also... The ideas man. <laughs> yeah. He actually does pretty much nearly at all. So he works all the hours God sends and then he does this for us. And and some of us, some of us, I'm not naming anybody, some of us just turn up on the night and have a drink. <laughs> I'm not naming any names. Um, in answer to your question, um, uh, Bumble, so it was, um, what was the question that it, what, uh, any advice for someone getting into Transformers? Uh, James yes. Dave actually answered it. Join the groups. It's definitely the best yeah. thing I've ever done. So TFUK, search for that on Facebook, join that. Uh, James's group as well, Transformers Unlimited, go and search for that. Um, loads of great groups out there. There's the Kapow Marketplace. That's another great group. Transformers and such. If you're um, collecting Transformers as well, YouTube. buy Sorry, the yeah. things that you're actually passionate about. The, the, the ones that you like the look of. And if there's a certain gender, like a G1, Beast Wars, whatever, do a bit of research into it first. And you, when you're in the groups, you can ask questions. You know, people come and give you advice, their opinions. You might get a uh, hundred different opinions, but you know, you might also get uh, some really good advice on where you can pick up the bots that will be best suited for you. And always take it in the best possible way. It's too easy sometimes to read the comment and read it as a negative or, or a project something onto it. Always read the comments in a positive way because these people are just trying to share opinions. Sometimes they may not be the best writers and best communicators, but when you meet them face to face, especially at TFN, you'll find out they are completely different people to what you might imagine they are on social media. Really are awesome people out there. So, yet he just wrote, don't. <laughs> Check. Uh, he's awesome I mean, to be fair, fair, he's got a point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a very good point. Uh, Mike, uh, Mick, got a question. Mick said, um, uh, start a legends collection, which is a really good point. You have to choose what you want to collect. Do you want to collect Chug, which is like the mainland Hasbro, or do you want Masterpiece, which is a lot more expensive, a lot bigger, or do you want Legends, which is the best? So you'll have to choose uh, between mini, the three. Mini <laughs> Transformers. Right, go on, Alexis. Last question because I want to play Fortnite. So Mick, Mick, <laughs> Mick, Mick's, uh... so we've got two questions. We've got two more questions. Okay, so right, Mick, two Mick's more said, what would you crave for? What would you crave for next to be released? Uh, he, he like a fan story scourge. What, what would you guys oh, like yeah. next? That hasn't, that hasn't been announced. And you can't yeah. have it as your custom either. So it's something that hasn't you haven't talked about so far. A Legends Power Master Prime by New Age. A generation. Or Magic Square. Good Power Master Prime. A proper one. Done properly. If it's one I haven't mentioned, it would have to be a Tadakara. Power Master Prime. I take out one vote because I want to pay a See, bit more. Power Master so Prime. Again, three people all saying some form of Power Master Prime. Alexis, yeah. you're going to make it four out of four? I, uh, there is a Legends Power Master Prime. No, but yeah. no. I take out a Chugs, but I said Power Master oh. Prime. I'd want a, a Magic oh, okay. one or a New Age one. Uh, I wouldn't mind the rest of the um, target masters and headmasters actually that we haven't well, had. You've ruined it for so. us now. We could have all said Optimus Prime. Uh, you yeah, next week. <laughs> no, 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 and no, you can't no. even name them, can you, Alexis? <laughs> <laughs> what are they called again, Alexis? <laughs> some some no. robotic things with heads that come off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, then, what was your but, final so question, Alexis? Daz, Dazdron says, if this show was dubbed, which Transformer voice actor character would you choose to do your voice? Which is a good one to end on. <sighs> Yeah. Sorry, uh, the buff. <laughs> okay. Um, Idris Elba. <laughs> He's not. Is he done Transformers? I don't think he has. He will. Uh, he will. <laughs> has he? Oh, I don't know. He might have done. Does he have to be somebody from the Transformers universe? I thought you just could choose any. I thought, actor, it, was a no, I thought it was a Transformers voice actor. I, I, mean, oh. no, I, I don't know. I mean, if it was any actor, I'd probably Yeah, have, it says, uh, which Transformer voice actor yeah. character would you choose? Oh, go on now. So if, 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 it, if it wasn't going to be a Transformer... Oh, no, Leonard Nimoy. Oh, I, have, uh, I, I was going to uh, see uh, him. Nemo. I was going to see him now. <laughs> I don't, okay. I don't, I don't, if I can't have Leonard Nimoy, I'm going to go with that. Well, we'll check it. Was it a TFN internet thing last two weeks back? But I forgot her Tanya. name. Tanya. Um, she was... Uh, everyone says she was Tanya. really nice. She was... She's also in the she's also in the Netflix series as well. Tej, if you're watching Tej on Netflix, the yeah, Tej, I'll just um, make out the box. She can do my voice as well. 
I like to see her do a Scottish accent for because it has Ooh, to be appropriate. Brad's just suggested Stanley Tucci. That's a good show. Stanley Tucci's a great if, actor. If it was any actor, I'd choose Jack D because apparently Jack D, I, I sound like a, 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 a built up Jack D, like a positive Jack D. And then it, I didn't realize it. My friend said before. If you, if you ever hear Jack D on the, he, Jack D does a lot of radio. If you ever hear Jack D in the car radio, close your eyes, make sure you're not driving. Close your eyes and see if yeah, you can, you see, see, if you, see if you can pitch me. Jack D, no, he's the guy who did the Transformers pitch. actors. Close my eyes. Let's leave the user. Jack D thing now. It's as John I'm doing Smith what advert. exactly? That the seems John a Smith bit dodgy. Advert. John Smith advert. The Penguins. Yes. Oh, Close my eyes and just think of anyway, penguins. Transformers actor. Um, um, uh, I'd have right. uh, who's the guy who did who this guy did uh, Scooby Doo and Frank uh, Blue Streak? No, no Blue Streak. Right. He did. Uh, he did Frank Welker Shaggy Scooby Doo. Shag, he did Shaggy and Scooby Doo. And he does Blue Streak, and he does a lot number of the characters in the original G One. Someone in the Dave. chat say <laughs> Dave. Name. Always a good idea they to pick said, someone who you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right. Must have inspired you a lot. So um, that's it for this week's show. Thank you for joining us so much. And thanks for chatting. Um, this is a new uh, new thing we've discovered. It's awesome. Um, go to TF UK. That's our home uh, on Facebook. Uh, join us there. would be awesome. Uh, also, we have Twitter, which is Jamie. What's the Twitter? TF Show UK. TF Show UK. Uh, we have Instagram. Alexis. Transformers the show. Yes. Andy, do you need to talk It's just one no, it's just one thing. Um, I know it's not official, but I've changed my mind. Ultramarcus out of Ultramarcus doing uh doing my voice because I if you watch oh, Ultramarcus's stuff, his he voice can do yeah, all the voices like, all, exactly. He's awesome. He, he could do the whole show. Yeah. <laughs> that would be entertaining. If you have in fact if you haven't seen he Ult- should come on as a guest and we just open the mouse and he should do our voices. For the whole if you haven't seen Ultramarcus, <laughs> watch Ultramarcus cha- Ultramarcus's channel and, and watch his stop motion. Fucking amazing. It is real. Sorry, oh, that right. was it. Kay- that was it. Kay- Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem is the guy I would get. Casey Kasem. Thank you, Rudy. Bye. <laughs>